In honour of South Asian Heritage Month and in celebration of the weather finally getting better here in the UK, I'm going to be showing you how to make kulfi, which is traditional Indian ice cream. It's a good way to cool down in the warm weather and it's fairly enough easy to make. So stay tuned and I'll show you the process. So to begin then, you will need two cups of milk, one cup of cream, one heaped tablespoon of cornstarch, two heaped tablespoons of condensed milk, and then sugar as per your taste, three lychee or cardamom pods, and then either a small handful of almonds or pistachio nuts, and then optional saffron, and then you'll need containers to put them in as well, including sticks to hold. As I'm vegan, I've gone for dairy-free options and my milk of choice is oat milk, but you can switch it up accordingly as per your preference. These are the containers I'll be using. They're similar to what you would find and commonly people use steel containers, but you can also find kulfi in clay pots as well. But by all means, use whatever you have available to you. Starting to prep then, I'm just cutting up the pistachios. Again, your choice on what you go for here, but I've chosen pistachios. You only want a small handful because you don't want the mixture to be too chunky and similarly cut them up finely as well because you don't want them to be distracting. And then in a pan, we're going to add our two cups of milk and also one cup of cream. I do add the whole cup, I'm not sure why it's not visible here. And then turn on the heat to a medium heat and we're going to reduce it for the next 15 minutes. Include your elaichi as well. And also now include your condensed milk, two heaped tablespoons, and stir throughout as well as needed, but we're going to let this thicken. And these are the two most important things to help thicken, which is sugar, which will help with the condensing process and cornstarch. Various recipes call for various different ingredients from milk solids to milk powder, but the main objective is to make it dense and creamy instead of watery and icy. So let that reduce and thicken over the next 15 minutes, keeping an eye on it and stirring accordingly, and you'll find that the mixture will thicken and reduce. I'm now removing the elaichi. You don't want to keep those in. And at this point, you go with your choice of nuts, in my case, pistachio. The choice of nuts will determine what type of kulfi you're making. If instead you go for almonds, then you'd be making malai kulfi. And then I'm adding saffron for taste and color. Just mix that all in. Once you're happy with the extent at which it's reduced and thickened, turn off the hob and leave it to sit until it gets down to room temperature. Once it's at room temperature, it does further thicken as well. And at that point, decant it into a pourable container so that it makes it easier to put it into the containers itself. The mixture is enough to make between four and six, depending on your container size. I am left over with some at the end, but just make sure not to overfill. And the sticks, you want them to be at a length that will make it easy to remove the next day. And then just put it into the freezer overnight to freeze and then any remaining mix in the fridge. And then the next morning, you want to briefly wet with cold water and it should easily slide out from the container. And then here are the final results. There are over 20 types of kulfi that you can find. Some are less common, some are more popular, like for example, malai kulfi and mango. Majority of the recipes start off the same and then it's just dependent on what you then put into it thereafter. But easy way to make it at home and a good way to cool down as well.